Vince Gill, one more last chance CVT guitar listener for Joel. You definitely wanted it simplified. You wanted me to alter the solo, and dude, I have to tell you, Vince Gill is such a good player. I found myself uh, teaching you the same way he was doing it, and I thought, man, I better steer back or it's going to drive Joel crazy. He's such a good player. And dude, the guitar he's playing looks just like this, man. I don't know if that's why you had me pick this song, or why you picked this song. So, um, anyways, it's drop D tuning, believe it or not. Yes, indeed. Um, this is the perfect guitar for this one. At five seconds in, we got this cool little kind of double stop where if you're going to go 2G, 1B, hit them both. Now, I think he's using two fingers. It's going to be easier to use a pick. Um, and this song, man, it's just tough. It's the most technical one you've done. Uh, if you don't get to where you can go out and perform it, just use it for a learning tool. You're going to pull off the 2G to an open. 3D, pull open. Open A, hammer 3. To an open D. So you have... Hear the difference with the fingers. Oops. It's more muty. But um, you can experiment with both me methods. Rhythmically, though, it's, it's so cool. But... Um, not going to be a whole lot to that because it's going to repeat okay until we get to the solo which i like i said i i'm going to be teaching you a chunk of what he's playing note for note and then i simplified some stuff and shortened it all right so the main groove here is six seconds in section 1b it's on the a string open two open three open and then three e half step bend to open a sounds like this that's just a quick Right? There's three times, and then you go back to the section 1A riff. Oops. And then right back in. Okay, so that kind of tag goes back and forth. Um, 17 seconds in, we hit section 2, which is that kind of groovy uh, riff played twice. Oops. Very cool. 3E, make sure you hear it before you slide to 5. And then hit the open G, you can hear them both together. Rest, and then open D, 3D, pull to open. 3A, bend, whole step to open D. So it's that's the fingering I'd use too. But I'll leave that up to you. Um, and then he's right back to the main groove. Um, three times. And then this, I'm going to use fingers, it just sounds so much cooler. But you, you know, you can use the pick. Bar the second fret on the D and G. And then my thumb's going to handle the 3A pulling off to an open. He goes. So I'm doing the DG. So the 3A pull off to open. Do it again. 2DG rest. Quick rest. Hit it again. And just repeat that cycle. One time. Back to the 2-2. Two, two, and then go open A, hammer 3, open D. And I go um, thumb and index. It's just me. Oops. You get more of a plucky kind of chicken picking sound going on. Um, coming out of that, you'll see um, double dots. So you're going to go back and start all of section two over again. Second time, no star. You're going to cut in the middle of it you'll go up to the rest and then back to the section 1B groove so rhythmically that's all you're looking at in this song okay um, I'll show you you know a, a thought on the ending but let's jump into the solo uh, 152 and what he's doing is 7A and I think he's using fingers for all this too it's gonna be easier with the pick though so uh, but I just want you to know uh, slide to 9 and then go 7G. 9G, bend release, pull off to 7. 9D, 7G, slide to 5. 7D, 
5G, let it ring a second, and then bend, you'll go to 7D. So we have. Okay, and then we're at the top of page three now, 5G, and then go 7D, slide to nine. Now this is really cool. You'll go. And I'd follow the same fingering in your tabs. And then 9, G, and D. You're making this shape. It's an E minor chord. 6B, half step bend. Oops, that'd be over here. So. 7G, mute the G. And then 7G. So it's. Using a pick, same concept. And those in, in a triplet feel seven to nine on the D. That's a hammer to seven G. And then uh, open A to nine G. Back to the open A. Now check this out. This is tough. And this is when I started thinking, man, I better just change it. But I did keep this the same. Middle finger nine G. Third finger ten B. I'm holding the 9G, I'm going to pick it, and then I'm going to go 8E with the index. I'm still bending the 9G, I'm going to release it, pick release, pulling off to the 7G. Doesn't seem like real crazy, but it is. Right? Pulling off to 7, then we'll go 9D, 7G slide to 5, 7D. 7G pull 5 and then 7D. So you, after that uh, crazy run, you got. Um, 7G bend, I'd use third finger. 5th uh, fret E and B. And I started changing a little bit there. Go 8, 5, 8 on the B. Bend the 8. So you have eight five B seven G bend release pull to five seven D and then on the G string go five seven seven seven. So let it give it some breathing room. It's something you want to do when you're solo and don't don't race through the whole thing. Put some breath in there. Four G quick rest. Oops. It's a cool little riff that's uh, kind of something he throws in there and I wanted to end the solo with that. Two pull off to open on the G. Three D half step bend to open G. So it's three pull open D. Three A bend whole step to an open D. So that run goes. And then we'll end the solo early just to, to stamp it just uh, like a D chord. Open 2, 3, D, G, and B. And then you'll, at 2.15, you'll go back to um, the main groove that we've been using it, the section 2, 17 second time stamp, and play it the same way. And then section 1B, which is that really cool main groove, the that goes on forever, dude. A long time. I put 24 times. You can end it when you want. When you do, just so it's sounds defined, just hit the open E and A. So I'll do four of them leading into that. Or if you want the full D chord, you know. Joel, we outdid every, everything with this one, man. Killer, good stuff.